Hello and welcome to yet another exciting episode of GSE at Home. My name is James and today we are going to be pursuing a favourite Scottish pastime and that's talking about the weather. Ah, oh, we love to talk about the weather here in Scotland. Whether it's blowing a gale or chucking it doon, there'll be somebody in Scotland to comment on it. But one kind of weather we don't really get to comment on is extreme forms of weather. Things like thunderstorms or cyclones or even tornadoes. And that is what we're going to be talking about today. So first off, what is a tornado? Well, a tornado is a spinning vortex that stretches all the way up from the clouds down to earth. Now these things can spin up to 300 miles per hour and can be as wide as two miles. That stretches from Glasgow Science Centre all the way to Glasgow Central Station. Now as you can imagine, these things can be quite destructive, but don't worry, we don't really get them here in the UK. Instead, tornadoes tend to form in places like North America and Australia. So how does a tornado form? Well, first off, the sun heats up water here on Earth, and it turns it into its gaseous form, water vapour. That water vapour then rises up into the air, where it interacts with the cooler, drier air. These things are then pushed up and down respectively, and this causes them to start to spin. And as soon as they start spinning, they then form a vortex that we call our tornado. Now, depending on where your tornado forms, you can get different styles of vortexes. If your tornado forms out at sea, it's going to start sucking all of that water up into the air, and you get what we call a water spout. If you get smaller ones in very hot places, you might get what we call a dust devil. You can even get fire whirls or fire tornadoes in very, very rare instances. But today, we are going to be forming a tornado in our homes. But don't worry, they're going to be safely contained inside a plastic bottle. And instead of using water vapour, we're going to be using water from the tap. So if you want to make your own tornado in a bottle, you are going to need the following. You will need two identical plastic bottles, a pair of scissors, a plastic lid, I'm just using one from a yoghurt tub, a black marker pen, a hole punch, and some duct tape or any waterproof tape. Alright, let's go! The first thing you want to do is take one of your plastic bottles and fill it three quarters of the way with cold tap water. and then set it aside. Next, you want to trim your piece of plastic so that it is nice and flat. Once you have your plastic cut out, lay it down on a flat surface and take your second bottle. Now, what you want to do is you want to place this upside down with the neck on the plastic. You're then going to take your black marker pen and draw around this. And once you've drawn around it, all that's left to do is cut it out. Once you have cut your piece of plastic to size, what you now need to do is take your hole punch and punch a few holes in the centre. Make sure that they all connect. We want to sort of make the gap in the centre just a little bit bigger. But not all the way to the edge. Something like that. Now we are ready to start assembling our tornado in a bottle. So what you want to do is you want to take your piece of plastic with the hole punched in the center and place it on top of the filled bottle. 
You then want to take the other bottle and carefully balance it on the top. You might want a friend to come and help you hold these things in place. Once you've done that, then you want to take your duct tape or your gaffer tape and you want to start taping this thing together. Now I've cut mine to size, you might want to do this as well. Once you've stuck it all together, just give it a nice wee squeeze around the edges to make sure that there are no gaps. We don't want any of this water coming out. So when you test your tornado in a bottle for the first time, make sure you test it in a sink just in case you have any leaks. And all you need to do is turn it upside down and give it a spin. It might take a little while for an effect to show, but eventually you should get your tornado. So what's happening here is that as we turn our bottle upside down, Gravity is pulling the water from our top bottle into our bottom one. And as we spin our top one, centripetal force is pushing the water to the sides. These two forces act together to give us our vortex effect. What do you think we could do to change this experiment? What if we were to put food colouring in with our water? Maybe polystyrene beads, or perhaps some washing up liquid. How could you change this to make it even cooler? If you do end up making your own tornado in a bottle, please send us those pictures. We would love to see them in action. And as always, keep sending us your comments and questions. We love reading them as well. Until next time, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you at 10 o'clock for the next GSE at Home. Goodbye!